To activate the volume automation, left click on the volume button to the left of the horizontal volume fader. This button will then turn yellow and a yellow automation curve will be overlaid on the track. You can also activate volume from the automation menu. The initial position of this volume automation curve will be based on the fader setting for the track. The current fader position is at 0 dB. This equates to the curve position being centered horizontally on the object. Moving the track fader will adjust the curve position. Pushing the fader to the top gives you a volume increase of plus 6 dB. At this point the volume curve will move to the top of the object. To edit this curve select volume curve mouse mode which is the yellow pencil icon. Position the pencil, left click and a volume automation point or node will be created. Left clicking along the timeline will create a volume ramp between those two nodes based on the current position of the yellow pencil. If you left click and drag you can draw in your own volume curves freehand. Holding down shift and left clicking creates a single node. You can then make adjustments without creating extra automation points.